What's up, everybody? Welcome back. It's time for episode three of Let's Draw Race Cars. I'm Boris, here at my house, like I'd assume pretty much all of you are, right? We're stuck inside these days, but that's all right. We're gonna draw some things. I don't know about you, I love drawing, and I love race cars, and a bunch of other things. But we're gonna focus on some race cars. Here at JGR, we're used to racing around the track. We're having to take a little pause to uh, take care of the situation at hand, but that's all right. It gives us some, it gives us time for things like this, getting back to hobbies, having some fun, taking our mind off things, drawing race cars. Yesterday, actually, if you were with us, we drew Kyle Busch's race car, the M&M's car right here. That one looks pretty good, right? Every day we're gonna start the show off drawing a race car. I know many of you were out there drawing with us yesterday. We also drew a racetrack. That's turn one at Daytona. Here you see our four cars leading the race. And here you see Kevin Harvick and Joey Logano getting ready to be lapped. Just messing with you guys, just, just joking. We're biased here, right? So I wanna start the show off while you're getting your pen and paper together, maybe some crowns, maybe uh, markers, colored pencils, watercolor, finger paint. You can even draw on Instagram. You can draw on your iPad like I'm doing, your phone. There's a lot of free apps, a lot of things you can get out there. Doesn't matter what you're drawing with, we'll be able to draw something with you today. And uh, what I want you to do is send in your requests for what you want to see drawn. And, uh, and then I want you to send your drawings because I'm going to start off with a little show and tell at the beginning of each episode. I'm going to show what you all drew while you're out there watching. So let me jump to that here. Again, this is Let's Draw Race Cars with Joe Gibbs Racing and me, Boris. You getting ready? Got everything together? Well, we had our buddy Reed Colbert drawing with us yesterday. Look at that, Reed on there. If you can see it, but he's got his his cube on there. We were drawing that Kyle Busch car, started with a cube shape and then fit the car, kind of chiseled it in there. Reed did a great job. Thank you for drawing with us, Reed. Hope you're watching again today. And then we had Luke, Emmett, Owen, and Tyler out there drawing in Virginia. They did an excellent job drawing along with us. There's Luke's job, Luke's uh, M&M's Camry. He went with number, looks like 98 to me. I like that. See, the whole point is here. We're just, we're having fun. We're drawing what we want. Doesn't matter how accurate it is. Luke made a M&M's car there. Owen did as well. Really nice. I really like Owen got the helmet in there. I didn't do that on mine. Owen got really detailed. That's what I like to see, Owen. Good job. All right. Then he, we had over here, Tyler. This is cool. So what we did is we drew the template of the car first, right? The outline and everything. And then you could turn it into whatever you want to. I turned it into the M&M's car. Tyler went green with the interstate car. In fact, he did a throwback retro interstate car. With that green, number 18, very, very cool. Good job. And then you had Emmett up here. What I like about Emmett is he went black and white on his. That's all right. He went all pencil on that one. I love that. Black and white, it's, it's tough to do black and white and to make it look good, Emmett did a good job. All right. So thanks everyone for watching. Continue to send in your drawings when you finish. We'll get started today. We're drawing Eric Jones's number 20 DeWalt Camry today. I haven't even decided what angle we should do. So I don't know if there's any requests out there, let me know. Maybe we'll do the rear because we've already done a front. We've already done a side. Maybe we need to do a top or a rear view. All right. I think that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you a couple of drawings I did. So these are a couple portraits. Who remembers this guy? Carl Edwards, remember him? That was a portrait I did of him when he was driving for Joe Gibbs Racing. There's a painting I did of Richard Petty's old car. Remember, they call him the king. He won 200 races. And there's a portrait, very colorful portrait I did of Richard Petty. Kind of crazy, huh? Well, we're not gonna get that crazy today. I hope not, at least. But we're gonna draw Eric Jones's car. So if you're ready, let's get to it. And uh, let's get our blank canvas open here. Perfect. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the right layer. It looks like I am. Got my black pen selected in my iPad. You ready to roll? All right, let's start off with a race car. Let's draw this number 20 DeWalt car. You know, a lot of times we don't draw the rear of the race car, but uh, we're gonna try that today. And by the way, if you're if you're a little younger, maybe you're under 10 years old, if you're, you're like 10 or nine or eight or seven or six or five or four or three or two or one, we're gonna have a little simple option for you here today too. You could try with the cars too, but if you wanna 
you want to really try, we're going to try a steering wheel and we're going to try a helmet as well. So you get to choose, okay? I'm going to start with the race car, but we can also do a steering wheel. All right, here we go. I say, I say we do the top view today, okay? That's what we're going to do. Top view of the number 20. We're starting with a rectangle again, but it doesn't have to be 3D. That's the good part. If you need a ruler or a book or something, feel free to use it. I'm just going to freehand and I'm going to draw really lightly to start our guidelines, right? We're just drawing a rectangle. So there's a line there. Bada bing. Okay, here comes as straight as I can get it here. Let's try it. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, hold my breath. That's as good as I can get. There's another one. Okay, that's as good as I can get. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now remember the angle we're doing, we're like a bird in the sky. We're drawing straight top down on that car. That's what we're looking at, okay? I'm gonna move Eric's car closer to me so I can see it. Okay, now I'm gonna get that black out again. That was just our guide. We're gonna erase that later. But uh, if you don't want to erase it, say you don't have an eraser, or you're just using a Sharpie, we can make that the pit box that he's sitting in when he, when he pits. So don't worry about it if the, if the rectangle stays on there. We can make the most out of whatever situation comes up, right? Kind of like what's going on in the world today. Same kind of idea, making the most of it. Okay, we're gonna start. Remember, we're looking at the top of the car. We gotta make that nose round. We don't want a square nose. It has to go through the air and a square nose isn't gonna work. So we're gonna make like a, uh, like a parenthesis or, or an arch like this. Look at this. Look at that. I like that. It came out pretty good. How'd yours come out? There's our nose. It's angled a little bit. It's curved. That's what we want. We're going to do one on the rear too, but it's not going to be as curved on the rear. The rear bumper is not as curved. It's a lot more flat. So we are going to just do a little slightly curved one and to do that. Just start closer to this line. Just start up here and go. And you can start from this end and go. Just a little flatter. Gotta have that bumper and spoiler in there. Looking good. Draw a race car from the top if you're just joining us. All right, now get out that lighter marker or draw just really lightly with your pencil or your pen or whatever. And try to mark the halfway point of this square. Halfway. You cut it perfectly in half. If you need to use a ruler, go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna guess it right here and I'm gonna say that halfway is about right there. I'm gonna draw a little dashed line. Very nice, very nice. And while you're catching up, I'm gonna read some comments, okay? I wonder if we got any drivers watching today. We need, what we need is we get Eric Jones on here. He's, he's, uh, he's at home too, right? Maybe he can draw his race car with us. Let's see what's going on. First, I'm gonna check our Facebook page. And I believe we're on YouTube today. I believe this is our first time on YouTube, if we got it working. If not, we'll have it up there later today. I'm checking now. If we are, we're live on YouTube. Perfect. Are you watching on YouTube? Let me know in the comments if you're watching on YouTube. That's awesome. Yep, there we are. All right. Perfect. Okay. Oh, we have comments turned off. We got to fix that on YouTube. Sorry, I didn't know they were turned off. We'll fix that. But uh, Facebook, people watching, send in your requests for the next episode. We had uh, one person requested Daytona, and we drew that. Who knows what we can draw next week or next tomorrow? We do this every day at noon. All right, back to, back to action here. Comments are great. I appreciate you all watching. I think we need to mark the windshield now, okay? So we've got our half lot, halfway point. The windshield is going to happen just beyond that, okay? In fact, if you want to divide the box into four, you can do that. That might help us. So there's now four lines helping us out. Getting crazy here, aren't we? Okay, so you have that line over there. Perfect four boxes. That far left line in the middle, not this one. So if I said A, B, C, D, and E lines, we're looking at line B. B is in Boris. And we're going to start the windshield, another arch. Not quite as archy as that one, but it's going to start right before the B line, right before the B line. And it's going to go like that. And in fact, I drew it a little too far to the edge. We want to stop right about in there. That makes sense. So not all the way to this line. We'll name that line one and line two. See line one, line two, line A, B, C, D, E. 
Yeah, we want to go B, stop right before line one and two. And then we want to move up just about an inch up there and just make a top windshield mark right here. Top windshield, right about there. Look at that, I messed up, but that's okay. That line's in the wrong spot, no big deal. Don't worry about messing up. We can always fill it in and fix it up. And then we're going to connect the windshield like that. If you have a toy car at home, like I do, it's okay to look at them. That's the best way to learn is to actually look at life and see how it's actually done. And I actually see that I made my arch a little too straight, so I'm going to fix it. I'm going to make the top of the windshield a little more archy. Get it right. And I'm even going to fill in a big gap here. See, I'm doing it all right. I'm going to get my darker marker, darker marker, and I'm going to make it thicker there. Darker marker. And then even the race car drivers have a little sun visor up here so the sun doesn't get in their eyes. And I'll fill that in with black. Now we've got a windshield. Can you see it coming together? See how it's going to work? Now you finish up your windshield. By the way, if this is too hard for you, maybe you're younger, you're just learning. Maybe you're five years old, six years old, eight years old, you're just learning. That's okay. We're going to work on a steering wheel too, okay? And a helmet. Might be a little easier on you all. Okay, I'm reading some comments here though first. I want to see what everybody's saying out there. Because I know there's people watching. I can feel it. If you're just joining us, I'm Boris, part of Joe Gibbs Racing. We're used to racing cars, but today we're drawing because we're all stuck at home, making the most of it, having fun. And what better than drawing? And what better than drawing race cars, right? We've got Oliver watching from Germany. Can you believe that? It's kind of like the whole world's coming together. All right, Oliver, thanks for watching. Danny's watching. Mitchell's watching. Devin's back. I think Devin has watched every episode so far. I appreciate that. So is Tracy. And then uh, we got Stacy's watching. You're welcome, Stacy. I saw your message. <laughs> Lauren says, happy little cars. I like that. All right. Thank you all for all the comments while you're catching up. Now it's time for the rear windshield. Look how much differently it's shaped. I'm going to show you on Denny's car because it's all white there. It's easier to see. But it's almost a, uh, it's almost a square. It's not like the front windshield, is it? Front windshield is, uh, what would you call that? It's like a, it's like half a banana or something. The rear windshield is more of a square and it's thinner. So we want to replicate that, right? So we got to start it just to the right of the D line. Okay. Actually, I think that's too much. I need to go even further back because those trunks are skinny. All right, here we go. About halfway between the D and the E is where the bottom of the rear windshield, or I should say the far right side of the rear windshield is gonna go. And then almost exactly that same direction between C and B. Just draw the exact same line. It's kind of like you drew number 11. Look at that. Very nice, very nice. Pretty cool, huh? All right, now we just need straight lines to connect it. I'm using Eric's car to help my hand roll over here. Kind of a nice little tool. Appreciate that, Eric Jones. All right. Look at that, rear windshield, not complete, but it sits in place. At least we know where it's gonna go. Look at that, doesn't matter if it's a little messy for me. I like it a little more messy like that. So now we pretty much have a roof, got a rear windshield, a front windshield. Remember, we're drawing the top view of Eric Jones' DeWalt car. Coming up soon, oh, I think we're gonna, this thing's so heavy, we're gonna, we're gonna draw this, whoa. <laughs> you know what this is? We use this in the garage to Take the lug nuts off the wheels. We drew a wheel on episode one. Remember that? If you didn't see that, go back and watch it. It helps you complete the whole car, the wheel and tire. But anyway, we use this, this DeWalt impact wrench to uh, take off the lug nuts in the garage. Not on the pit road. We use one a little different on pit road. This one's when we're not in a rush. We use this one. We're going to try to draw this at the end, okay? All right. Good. I like this thing. Thanks for letting me borrow it, Eric. All right. You got the rear windshield in place. Now we're getting a little tricky, okay? We have to draw the windows, the side windows, but we can't see all of them. I'm gonna use Denny's car again. Can you see how they're just like little wedges in here? Just little, we're just alluding. I keep using that word in these episodes. We're alluding to the windows, okay? All we really need is a line that goes about like this. I'm gonna draw fast on this side. It's like a, it's like a skinny green bean. Look at that. Isn't that what it's like? It's like a green bean. It's a black green bean though. Green beans way past its prime. Okay. I did that quick. All it is is a thick green bean like arch from right about there. 
to right about there. Got it? All right. Now, like I said, if you're younger, maybe your age is eight or seven or six, we're gonna try to draw a steering wheel and a helmet soon, okay? So do your best on this one, and we'll, we'll be with you in just a few minutes to draw something a little simpler, okay? A little easier. All right, but have fun doing this one. All right, that car's coming together, I like this. Now what we need is the edges of the car, like the door, the very bounding edges. Now we don't have doors in our cars, I just call it a door because that's where their door would be, but this, this bottom line and this top line, we have a guideline, but we wanna darken it up. Now you can just go straight back if you want, follow it, that's one way to do it, perfectly good way to do it. I'm gonna add a little bit of, a couple swooshes, a little, little rolling hill in there because the actual car, the fenders flare out at the front, the doors are a little wonky, over the rear wheels, it bulges out a little bit, a little bit to fit in that big rear wheel and tire in there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna not follow this line. I'm gonna just make it come out a little bit, just a little bit. See, look how I'm kind of giving it an S. Maybe this car has been raced hard. Maybe Eric uh, banged doors with a couple drivers out there and passed them for the lead. You know, I don't know. This car is gonna tell its own story. What story is your car telling? Did your car have a wreck? If your car had a wreck, you might want to draw a line like this. Oh my gosh. Whew. If your car had a wreck, you might want to chop off the back here like this and draw a line like that. Or if it had a bad wreck, you might want to vent in the front. That car is not going to win the race if it's dented like that, right? My car is going to be in good shape though. I'm going to keep my car in good shape. Maybe tomorrow we'll draw a wrecked car. What do you think? Okay. There we go. I mean, we're coming together pretty good, I say. Now, if you'd like to, you can erase some of these guidelines. I'm going to erase a couple of them. You don't have to. They're going to get covered up with our shading and our logos and our decals. So whatever you want. But I'm going to erase them now that we've made some progress. Do, 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 do. While you all are catching up with your size there, I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. Get the edges right. All right, all right, all right. Pretty cool. All right. Going back to my black marker. I'm gonna draw a thin line though. I'm gonna be kind of light because remember yesterday we did the edges of the hood where the hood would open up. This, this hood doesn't open up on these, but you, you know what a hood is. It shows the engine, right? And the trunk. We're gonna just draw, draw little lines that elude, which just means they look like that, uh, that trunk area. So there's one there and there's one there. Look on my monitor to see if that's showing up. It's probably pretty light, but if I zoom in here, maybe you can see. See, just a light line. There you go. Same thing on the hood. I'm going to zoom in, help myself out here. I'm going to draw a little parallel line up here for the hood. And then I'm going to connect it to the windshield. That's where the hood usually goes. Somebody on here requested we draw a trophy. Sorry, I forget the name. I need to look it up, but I saw your comment. Maybe we'll draw a trophy. If we don't get it to it today, we'll do it tomorrow. If I can't do it today, we will. There you go. Got the trunk and the hood in there. And now, where are we? Well, let me add some, let me add some, there goes my phone. Let me add some uh, headlights on here. And then we'll have our template done. Headlights, we're just gonna, you can't see it all. We're just gonna draw a little line and make it look like there's headlight stickers there and then a little grill there. See, just little lines. Can't really see it all. We're just, just hiding it in there. Now you have your template. Right? I'm gonna erase my letters. How y'all doing out there? I'm gonna read the comments in a second, in a minute. I'm just gonna clean this up while y'all are finishing up your headlights and your doors and your trunk line and your hood line. Now you have a template. You can put any colors, any designs, anything you want on that car. I'm gonna stick with Eric Jones's number 20 DeWalt car and uh, read some comments here for a second. All right. Let's see here. What's how's everybody doing out there? Regine wants uh, wants trivia to come back. We're working on trivia. We're gonna bring it back. Don't worry. Let's see here. Kay's watching. Michelle's watching again. I appreciate it. Oh, Tracy said the the front window is a trapezoid. That's the term I was looking for. I'm very good at geometry. I appreciate that. Appreciate that, Tracy. Susan's watching from Montana. All right, way up there. Thanks, Susan. Nicholas is watching from France. Parlez-vous français? Salut. I took five years of French in high school and college. 
All right. Let's see. A lot of people watching. I appreciate this. Adam asked what app I'm using. I'm using the Procreate app, but there are tons of apps out there. You don't have to use that one. And you don't even have to use an app at all. You can use your finger. You can use a marker. All right. You got a template, right? Now remember how we did numbers yesterday? If you weren't watching, this is how we do it. I'm going to draw the 20. I'm going to fit it inside a light box here. Maybe if I get this working, I'm trying to draw off the eraser. I don't recommend trying to draw with your eraser. Very challenging. All right, here we go. We're going to just draw a box. This is going to help us fit a number in there. Coming up next, we're drawing a steering wheel. All right, here we go. Divide that box in half. That gives us a space for our two and for our zero. And then it becomes really easy, right? So for a zero, you just have to draw a, uh, a long kind of hot dog shape in there. Now you got a zero. The two is going to go something like this. It's like a, like a golf club. See that? And then the bottom is very, very similar. Actually, it's like a golf club pointing the other way, or maybe a musical note. If you like music, now you got a two, now you got a zero. Now I'm just going to darken them up and I'm going to do this, do the diagonal line, make it rounded on top of the two, bring it back down to the golf club. I know I went a little fast there, but you might have to pause and rewind and watch it again. That's okay. There you go. Just made an oval in that box. And there's the hot dog shape in the middle of the zero. Just like that, you have a 20, a NASCAR looking 20. We've been using that number for a long time at JGR. I'd say well over 20 years. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. 20 -ish years, 20 years for the 20, something like that. Check my math on that. All right. It's coming together. To this DeWalt car, what color is it? It's very, very close to that M&M's car we did yesterday. It's got, it's a little bit darker yellow, very little bit. So if you want to stop here, go ahead, but I'm going to add some color. But now that we have our template, we're going to help the folks out there. Maybe you're, uh, maybe you're age eight or nine or seven or six, or maybe you're age one or one and a half or something or two, and you want to draw something simple. Let's draw a steering wheel just to get started. Okay. Draw a steering wheel that would be inside the car. You just draw a circle. Like that. And I'm going to zoom in for you. Okay. That's the part the driver grabs. Just a circle. And then there's another circle right in the middle. I wish I had a steering wheel attempt to show you. Maybe I'll get one tomorrow and we'll figure it out. But anyway, that's the part in the middle that connects to the car. Just a dot. That kind of looks like a wheel, like a, like a car wheel, but we're going to make it a steering wheel. And what do steering wheels have? NASCAR steering wheels have metal spokes that keep the whole wheel sturdy. So they usually have one, where do they have them? They have one over here, which is like a tall triangle. Let's draw a line like that. It's like a clock, doesn't it? It's like arms of a clock. And then you draw one out like that. How's your steering wheel looking? Mine looks a little weird, but we're going to fix it. Then there's a final one like this. Can't you see it? Can't you see the driver's hands on here like this? Actually, let me change the color. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's Eric Jones again. He's got the kind of these yellowy orange gloves on. There's his fingers holding the steering wheel. There's his thumb. There's another set of fingers over here. There's his thumb. <laughs> and there you go. See, that was easy. Nothing wrong with that. If I zoom out. How about this? A little more show and tell. I showed you the drill. How about this thing? Oh my gosh. I don't know why I picked the heaviest things to show you all, but check out this helmet. This is an old D-Wall racing helmet. I believe Matt Kenseth wore this one for JGR. Look at that thing. I'm not going to try to put my head in this thing. My head is much bigger than Matt Kenseth's, I think. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way I'm fitting in there. But you got a radio wire so we can talk to the crew. Of course, this is all for safety. You've got the visor. Keep dirt and junk out of his eyes. Keep anything from going in there. Keep him safe. It's nice and cushy in here. Nice and cushy. But one thing's for sure. After a driver wears this in a four-hour race, PU. Yeah, stinks up. They have to stick this air blower up into it to air it out. I'm telling you, it's the truth. 
the truth. It happened to you and me too. It's not just about Kyle or Denny or any of their heads. They don't have any more stinky heads than we do, I promise. All right, steering wheel. The helmet, based on circles as well. Can't you see that it's kind of rounded? Kind of rounded there. So we're gonna do something similar. It's just gonna have a cut off bottom. It's like a circle with the bottom cut off. Got it? So if you're watching that while we're taking a break on the race car, draw me another circle, maybe a little oval this time. I don't want a yellow one, I want a black one. Give me another uh, oval kind of circle. Okay. Now get ready to erase on this one, okay? Kind of like an egg shape, right? That's what our heads are shaped like, so um, that's what we're going to draw it like. I want you to cut off the bottom of that egg like this. Look at that. Let's draw a straight line. I'm drawing a side view of the helmet. Side view, like that. Okay. Now, if you got your eraser, you can erase the bottom. All right, all right, all right. Look at that. It's already looking like a helmet. Can you believe that? Now we want the visor. So over here, draw a straight line. Bottom. Straight line. Top. And then an angle line like this and connect them. Now you've got the visor. That's what he sees through. Got it? Now I want to make that visor black. You can make it whatever color you want. You could even add some little purple and yellow green reflections in there. I mean, it, whatever your heart desires, you can add that visor in there. Kind of make it look like glass or plastic. It's not really glass. It's like a, it's like a plasticky material, but it's very safe. Look at that. Swooshes. Remember those swooshes you've been watching? Okay. After that, you can make it whatever color you want, but I'm going to add some details. How about the hose that's at the top? Does anybody know what this hose or this vent is for? The hose sticks on there. It's for blowing cool air into the driver when it gets really hot in the car. There's no air conditioning, so they have to air condition the helmet. So we're going to drive, draw that in there too. Just draw that up top. Right up there, like a little shark fin. You ever seen a shark fin? And then add a little spot for the hose. See, the hose would go on there like that. Kind of, kind of crazy looking, but hey, driver says they need it. We got to give it to them, right? All right. I think that's about it on the helmet. Now you have a template and you can add whatever you want to the helmet. You could add a smiley face. Ooh, how about a yellow smiley face? Let's try that. Yellow smiley face. Maybe you're sponsored by smiley faces. Now you got a smiley face helmet. How about a racing flame? Like fire. Don't want to get it on the, on, the, on the smiley face. We don't want the smiley face to burn. So we're going to go around the smiley face. I'm going to draw a black outline and then I'm going to add some orange into the fire. That is a cool looking helmet. Then I'm going to add some yellow in the fire. Oh man, this is looking good. Then I add just a little bit of red in the fire. And how about a little bit of blue? You ever seen when fires have blue in them? It means they're really hot. A little bit of blue. And then I'm going to fill the rest in with yellow. Orangey yellow. Perfect. You can add whatever you want. Make sure you take a picture or a screenshot or something and post it in the comments so I can see it. And we'll put your drawings on, on our next episode. All right? All right. Now back to our race car. I'm going to move my helmet. Oh, mess that up. Move my helmet and my steering wheel off the screen a little bit. You can still draw on those if you want to. I'm going to move them down, give space for my car. There you go. All right. And let's see here. Let's get back to the race car. Since we picked that yellow for the flame and the helmet, I'm going to keep that yellow because it's almost perfect. DeWalt yellow for Eric Jones's race car. So I'm just going to fill in here, people. I'm just going to fill in as much yellow as I can because we'll draw over it in black. Okay. So while you're catching up, I'm going to do my best at staying within the lines here. 
All right, looking pretty good. You don't have to stay in the lines. It might even make it look faster if you don't stay in the lines. I'll show you in a second what I mean. If you, uh, if you get outside the lines, you can always erase or you can just leave it and make the most of it, right? Sometimes the world's about fixing stuff and that's okay. So here we go. Turn in Eric Jones's car that was just black and white. Now we're making it DeWalt yellow so you can see it on the track. Helps me pick out my tools in the garage too. Okay. Does anybody else out there have a messy garage like me? Anybody's parents have mess messy garages? Am I the only one? I don't know. All right, here we go. Almost done filling in the colors. I know it's going to take you a little more time if you're using crowns or colored pencils. Really, it's up to you whatever color you want to use. Don't worry about falling behind. At this point, it's just about coloring what you want to color. I'm just coloring what I want to color. Go as fast or slow as you want to. All right, got my yellow. I think for my windshield and rear windshield, I'm going to start with a dark blue lightly and just kind of kind of add up. It's a little too light. There we go. Really dark gray, muddy, murky blue going in there. And then I'm going to add my favorite part. Can you guess what my favorite part is? That's right. We're going to have some swooshes in there. Got to have the swooshes. But I'll do that in a minute. I'll let you catch up. All right, pretty cool. How are we looking on the screen over there? Okay, looking good? Good. All right, now we get a little tricky. The thankful part for me is that this DeWalt car has a bold, kind of tough design, which means it's it's simple, bold shapes like these rectangles and squares. Makes it much easier for me than the M&M's car, which I like also, but it's a much different challenge today. The DeWalt car is uh, a lot of angular straight lines. So, Get back to my black, that's their color there. And I see DeWalt on the hood. Now again, I'm not trying to make perfect letters here. These cars are moving really fast, so I'm just making as good of letters as I can. That's what you should do. Unless you like making letters, then get in there and, and try to work on the letters. But I'm just choosing to do some uh, simple letters here. All I know is that this DeWalt logo, Let's see if I can show you on this one. See how those lines on the top? And then it has the DeWalt. I'm going to do that. So one DeWalt, DeWalt line at the top, one DeWalt line at the bottom. Looks like an equal sign. Looks like a 11 from this angle, doesn't it? Now I'm going to have to draw sideways letters, but I'm just going to sort of scribble. Okay. I'm just going to scribble to make sure it looks like it says DeWalt. So there's kind of a D shape. There's a little E shape. There's a big W shape going sideways. You can turn your paper, of course. I'm gonna leave it like this so the screen works, but you can turn your paper. I would recommend that if you're drawing letters. There's a big A, there's an L, and I can't believe it, but I fit them all in my box. There's a T. All right, looks pretty good. Now we've got a big black line going through the center of the car. We don't wanna cover the DeWalt, so I'm gonna make another line here. This is the scheme he ran last year. He has a brand new scheme this year. We should show that to you in a little bit, but this is the car he ran last year, Mr. Eric Jones. That DeWalt line goes right down into the grill of the Camry. All right, that looks pretty good, don't you think? It even follows up the roof, so we gotta go all the way to the number. We don't wanna fill in the white parts of the number. We wanna keep that white, but it's got a black line up behind it. And then it even goes back onto the trunk. By the time you get back there, the car's moving really fast, so it just turns into a blur. So I'm just kind of scribble dibbling. All right, very nice. Now the side of the car has an angled black stroke. So we're just going to, you guessed it, we're gonna to allude to it. Just a line that goes up like that, meets the trunk, no big deal. Just kind of a fast line, looking good. One on this side, looking even better. There you go. And that's about it for that car. And remember, we had some people like uh, Tyler and Owen and, and Luke and those folks that were drawing designs up in the windshield. So I'm gonna add some purple swooshes. Can you believe it, purple swooshes? We're gonna purple swoosh up here. To me, that's just light and things around the car reflecting off the car. You know what I mean? I don't know what it is. Maybe there's some birds flying by. Maybe Eric's driving under a tree or something. We even add some green in there. This is just the world being reflected in the windshield. I like it. 
kind of brings it to life. Some blue, plenty of blue from the sky reflecting in the windshield. And of course, they're swooshy because that means speed, right? Speaking of swoosh, you want to get even crazier? I'm going to add some swooshes around the car because I want this thing looking like it's going fast. I don't know about you. I don't want a slow race car. So I'm going to just add some swooshes outside of it. It's like the car just breaking the boundaries of its existence and it's just swooshing by. <laughs> See that? Look at that. Swooshing. That's that's my personal taste there, but you can do whatever you want. You could stop back before this, or you could you could do whatever you want. I'm just making it look like the car's moving fast. And there you go. That's the top of the DeWalt car. We drew the side of the M&Ms yesterday, and we drew the front of the Bass Pro Shops on episode one. You guessed it, Denny's tomorrow. All right, any Denny Hamlin fans out there? That FedEx car coming at you tomorrow. Start practicing. Gonna have to have a lot of purple and orange on that one. Get those crowns and those colored pencils ready for that one. Maybe you drew the helmet with us today. Did you draw that? Show us, we wanna see. Doesn't matter how good or bad you think it is, we just wanna see it. Very awesome. And of course the race car. All right. How are we looking on time? We're gonna try to draw this impact wrench. Oh yeah, we got time. You got time, I got time. We got a lot of time, right? We're gonna try to draw this impact wrench that I have, that my friends at DeWalt let me borrow from Eric. Don't tell him, I, don't tell Eric I borrowed this, okay? He might be working on, he's got a lot of classic cars. He might be changing the tires and rotating them or something. I don't want him to know who has his impact wrench, okay? All right, you got that? Here we go. While you're still drawing, I'm gonna see if I can show you something cool that I have from yesterday. Let me, let me grab this right quick. All right. You got a new piece of paper for this impact wrench? We're getting ready to draw while I'm showing you something cool from yesterday. I'm gonna airdrop this to my iPad from my phone. I'm gonna show you a little video that we did. This is the replay of our M&M's drawing. Is that on the screen? All right, watch this. Look at this, the M&M's car coming together. It recorded everything I did yesterday. I did not draw it this fast. I'm sure you did not either. This is speeding it up. There's the headlights, there's the roof, there's the nose and the grill. How cool is that? My iPad can do this. Can you imagine if all the artists throughout history were able to see this? See like the Mona Lisa being painted, things like that. There we go, there's the windshield we did. Remember this episode two, you can go back and watch it for step by step. Now we add the color. This was fun with the M&Ms in there. I had the M's on the front. Oh, it disappeared. Did, did you blink? Did you see it? <laughs> I don't know if I can get that back, but that was a lot of fun. There we go. There it is. There's the final product. That was fun yesterday. Okay. Do you have a new canvas open? We're going to draw this impact wrench. This is the tool we use to take the wheels off the car, change the tires in the garage, not on pit road. This is when we have some time and we're going a little easier, all right? Thing's pretty cool, isn't it? All right. Well, we're going to draw this. Ready for it? Notice the shapes we have here. We have kind of this barrel shape, kind of long, gets skinnier down here, fatter up here. Very nice. Then we have a handle and then we have the battery. So three main elements that we're going to draw together. Okay? And here's how it's going to work. We're going to start with guidelines like we usually do. Remember, we need three guidelines. We're going to draw over these, maybe erase them. So don't worry if they're not perfect, but first one is going to be the top. It's going to be this barrel, this whole point, a line from here to here through the middle, then a T, make it a T, a line down the middle, and then a little short stub line at the bottom. All right, there's the top. Guideline, just light at the top. It's going to tell us how far we need to go. Then I'm going to make a T, not in the middle, not right here. No, no, no. I'm going to go over to the right a little bit and we're going to start back here. Why did I do that? I'm sure you can guess it's because that's where it is on the drill. It's over here. It's not in the middle. It's over here. All right, here we go. And then a smaller line just to tell us where the battery is going to be. See, it's like a skeleton. It's like the skeleton of the drill. Perfect. What do you think? All right. Now this is where we can start to fill things in. 
I'm going to sketch with this light line, continue to sketch with the light line. Draw a line about right there. That's showing up dark enough, looks like it. Showing right there. That's going to be this body where the, the motor and the big parts of the drill are right up here. It's kind of like a, I don't know what that's like. It's almost like a football. It's like a flat football sort of. So we're going to do a line like that at the top. Make it go around the back like this. See that? It actually looks like a soda can. Don't you think? Kind of looks like a Coke can. Yep, on its side, right? So draw that if that helps you. Now we've got that. Now we need the socket. The socket is where the lug nut would go in. The socket, it's kind of a tube shape right there. It's a tube shape. All right. It's almost like actually just like a rectangle. Look at that. It's pretty much a rectangle up there. Now remember, I'm sketching. Sketching, just making it easy. Rectangle. We'll go back in with a darker line. We'll erase some stuff. Can't you already see it looks like a drill? I mean, this is more the drill. It's an impact wrench, not really a drill, but you know what I'm saying. All right, now we need to make the handle a little bit. Parallel lines. Parallel means two lines never touching, running right next to each other, right? Never touching. See how this line goes like that, and that line goes like that. There you go. Now what shape is the battery? The battery is basically a, a short rectangle with a little bit of a curve here. So let's do that. There's your curve, and there's your rectangle. I know I'm going a little fast for you. We're kind of sketching here. We're being messy and rough. That's okay. There we go. You see how I've drawn that in a skeleton kind of formation? I've kind of pieced it together with rectangles and curves and lines. And that's okay. It doesn't look real yet, but it will in just a second, okay? I'm looking at this thing. I have it laying on the floor next to me. I had the pleasure of doing that. You might have to Google an image of an impact wrench if you need something to look at, but I'm just checking things out. Again, we got a lot of yellow, a lot of black. I'm going to go back to my black marker because I want to do an outline now. And I'm just going to outline the stuff that creates the outline of the drill. See, making it dark, making it come together. Got my soda can up here up top. We've got a little attachment to the socket that is just a rectangle from the side it's kind of amazing isn't it this socket is round when you look at it like that when you look at it from the side it, it makes a almost perfectly flat rectangle it's got a little bulge here but it's all rectangle shape a rectangle out of a circle just by changing the angle that's pretty cool all right there you go i'm gonna add the little indentation up there it's good. I'm forgetting the trigger. Don't forget the trigger. That makes it spin. Kind of looks like that. It's like a little half. It's like a little moon, moon shape up there. Very nice. Now draw a line directly above the trigger. That's where the metallic part is going to be. And you basically already have it. You could draw a whole garage by this point, right? You know how to draw a car. You know how to draw a wheel and tire. You know how to draw an impact wrench. You could pretty much draw the Joe Gibbs Racing Garage from what you've learned in the first three episodes. Feel free to pause and go back if you need to. We're just having fun here, sketching. I got a little messy sketch here. That's okay. I like a little more messy sketch. If you like it clean, you can go in and you can, you can erase these lines. You can erase the outer edges. Etc. Etc. You know, if you like it more on the clean side, that's all right too. Making it come together. Now I'm going to add some color in there, okay? I'm not going to do it exactly like my drill here looks, but we'll get it close. There's a lot of silver up here. Silver shading, you want to just have various light strokes. See how I'm light? Maybe a pencil would work really well for this. Silver strokes. And in some areas, I make them darker. And in some areas, I keep them light. And then it makes it look like it's metallic. I could even go back in there and I could erase some. See, it makes it look like it has some shine and some sheen to it. 
Now that kind of looks like a silver metallic, right? Just like the drill. There's a lot of black in this one. So the handle is most all black, but it's got some yellow squiggles. So I'm going to leave some space for the yellow squiggles. I believe that is the technical term. My, my buddy Tony, who works for DeWalt, tells me that squiggles is the accurate term that impact gun designers use to define their drawings. I don't know if that's true or not. I just made that up, but I thought it was funny. So you tell me if it was funny or not. There's some more squiggles in there. Just getting some shapes in here. Here's the battery. The back has a little bit of a, a back black plate to it. And then the, the deal up here is a dark metal. So I'm going to make it black now, but I'm going to go in and I'm going to erase some little lines in it. These little line erasers that make it look like it's kind of metal. It's kind of got some shimmer to it. Now the fun part I'm going to add, for me at least, is adding the color. You might like black and white and that's all right. Got that DeWalt yellow already. Now I'm going to fill in my yellow parts here. I'm going to make them a little bit translucent. You know what that means? Translucent it means you can see through it, but you can still see the yellow. So look at that. See, I can still see my, my gray marks in there. I like that because it gives it some shape. It gives it some action. It looks like this impact wrench has been used really well, which the ones at the ray shop are. Look at that. All of a sudden, just like that, we have a dual impact wrench. And if you're feeling really brave, which I encourage you to be, you can add that logo in there. Remember we did it on the car? DeWalt logo's got a straight line up here, straight line down there. Not closed on the ends. And then you add a big D, a little E. What's funny is it's a little capital E. It's not lowercase, but it's little. Big W, big A. Big L, big T. Got that? I think we're done. I think we did it. While you're catching up, I'm gonna read some more comments and respond, see what y'all are saying out there. And uh, we'll wrap it up for today. Remember, send me what you wanna see drawn in episode four. We're doing this every day at noon. That's 12 o'clock for you, don't, you that don't know that. And that's noon on the Eastern time. Ask your parents if you need help, but actually it's pretty much right after lunch. And you can always watch a replay. You don't have to watch live with me. But we've got a lot of comments out there. People are loving it. Drew's watching. Drew tagged their friend Courtney in this. I like that because you tell your friends about it. More friends come in. You can draw with them from home. And then you can show each other your drawings on the internet or through the photo or through text or something like that. You know? Donna Lee's watching from Florida. I'm from Florida, Donna Lee. Sean says, sorry, I missed the show yesterday. Sean, that's all right. We got the replay up there. No big deal. Daniel's watching in Ontario up in Canada. Thank you, Daniel. We've had France, Germany, and Canada on this episode today already. We're, we're, we're spreading fast. This is awesome. All right. Uh, Oregon for Larry. A lot of people drawing out there. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you for watching. And uh, I think that's going to do it for episode three. I'll catch you later. This is Boris signing out.